Now that you understand that the sum of the interior angles in every triangle is equal to 180 degrees, now we can explore another angle relationship that exists, but this time we'll be looking outside the triangle at an exterior angle. An exterior angle of a triangle is an angle outside of the triangle created by extending one of the sides of the triangle. So in this diagram here, um, we can extend this side of the triangle here to make angle 4, which is our exterior angle. Now the exterior angle theorem for triangles tells us that the measure of the exterior angle, so angle 4 in this diagram, is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. We sometimes call those uh, remote interior angles. Um, so in this case, what we see is that the measure of angle 4, right here, is equal to the sum of angle 1 and angle 2. So we'd say the measure of angle 4 equals the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2. So I'd like you to copy down the exterior angle theorem for triangles in your notes um, so that you have that to reference as needed. It might also be helpful to copy into your notes a couple different examples here of angles that are considered exterior angles and some that are not exterior angles. Um, the ones to the left of the line here are all considered exterior angles. You can see like in this, here I'll call this in, in figure A, um, this is an exterior angle and you'll see that it's supplementary to this interior angle of that triangle. Same thing here on, we'll call this figure B. If we extend this line, this side of the triangle, then this angle here is um, an exterior angle, and you can see again it's supplementary to one of the angles inside the triangle. Whereas if you look over at the right side, where these are examples that are not considered exterior angles, um, first you'll see in this one um, we never extended the side of the triangle in a straight line, right? It would have to either go this way or this way, so that's why this one doesn't work. Um, if you look at this example here, we can see it's not an exterior angle because um, of the angle that's highlighted. Right? This is a vertical angle to one of the interior angles, not a um, supplementary one. And we need it to be a supplementary angle to um, maybe this angle here, or we could even look at this angle here would be exterior. That pink one isn't, um, doesn't fit the definition. And then on this final example here, we see that we didn't extend the side at a straight line, um, so that's not an exterior angle. So these are the ones that we're talking about when we're talking about exterior angles. So the exterior angle theorem for triangles um, can help us find missing angles in a triangle. Um, what we can do here is see that um, the measure of angle B, C, D, which is our exterior angle, you can see this right here, um, is equal to 110 degrees. And the exterior angle theorem uh, tells us that this exterior angle is equal to the sum of these two remote interior angles. So the measure, so angle B and angle A. So if we add A and B together, we're going to get 110 degrees. We know that angle B is 12 degrees, so I can say 12 degrees plus whatever angle A is, is going to equal 110 degrees. So to find A, we just do 110 minus 12, and we find out that, oops, that's kind of sloppy, let's fix that. Um, we find out that the measure of angle A is 98 degrees. Okay, and then we can find the measure of angle um, BCA using, well, a couple different things. We could look at it and say, well, um, this angle right here, ACB, and BCA have to add up to 180 degrees because we know they're supplementary. They fall on this straight line here. Or we know that um, the three angles in the triangle have to add up to 180, and uh, we could find it by adding up 12 plus 98. We'll get 110, which we already knew, um, and subtract that from 180. Um, and no matter how you do it, you're going to find out that the measure of angle BCA is 70 degrees. 
Let's take a look at this example. We see the measure of angle 1 equals 51 degrees. I like to just write that in. Um, the measure of angle 2 is 64 degrees. Then we're looking to find the measure of angle 3 and the measure of angle 4. Now I know that if I add angle 1 and angle 2 together, 51 plus 64, I'm going to get the measure of angle 4 because those are um, remote interior angles associated with that exterior angle. And I get 115 degrees. And then we can find the measure of angle 3 by taking 180 minus 115, and I get 65 degrees for the measure of angle 3. Here's another example that has some variables in it. In this case, we're trying to figure out what x is. Well, again, according to the exterior angle theorem, we know that this exterior angle is equal to this angle plus this angle. Those are our two remote interior angles. So then we can write an equation that says 2x plus 3x has to equal 130. 5x equals 130. 130 divided by 5 is 26. So x equals 26 degrees. All right, in our final example here, we're asked again to find um, the measure of x. Uh, so what we can do is use what you guys know about um, the sum of the remote interior angles um, to figure out what x equals. We can write an equation here that says that um, 27 plus this 2x minus 4 equals this exterior angle of 157. Um, let's combine terms. We've got 27 minus 4 is 23 plus 2x equals 157. Now I can take 23 away from both sides. And when I do that, I end up with um, 134 equal to 2x. And when I divide both sides by 2, we find out that x is equal to 67 degrees. So now you know the exterior angle theorem for triangles, and you can talk to your teacher if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching.